pottery mill them. Spring is a time of transition for agriculture in the desert southwest. Cool season crop harvest is wrapping up in spring and summer crops are being planted and grown. This is also powder and mildew season. Powder and mildew can develop on commercial crops such as late season lettuce, wheat, or melons, as well as landscape plants. It is not too early to begin considering management options with powder and mildew on melons. The disease generally is favored by dry weather conditions, moderate temperatures, reduced light intensity, fertile soil, and succulent plant growth. The overall risk of powder and mildew increases as more of these factors become established in a melon field. Dry weather conditions and fertile soil are givens in our desert melon production fields. Spores of the melon powder and mildew pathogen, Podospora santi, can germinate to initiate disease at temperatures ranging from 72 to 88 degrees Fahrenheit, and optimally at about 82 degrees Fahrenheit. These moderate temperatures, as well as reduced light intensity and succulent plant growth, all become increasingly prevalent as the melon plantings grow rapidly during April and May. Another factor to consider when determining powdery mildew risk is the inherent susceptibility of the melon cultivar being grown. Those varieties known to be susceptible to powdery mildew will require implementation of a rigorous disease management program involving application of fungicides with different modes of action throughout the period of high disease risk. On the other hand, melon varieties that have moderate to high levels of genetic resistance to the pathogen will require less fungicide inputs. To achieve maximum levels of disease control, powdery mildew fungicide application programs must be initiated before the visible detection of the fungus. Good levels of disease control can also be attained by waiting to begin fungicide applications until no later than the very first sign of disease in the field. These initial infection sites are often on the underside of leaves, so frequent and comprehensive examination of the melon planting is required.